is up guys, Shiro here and welcome to Shiro's house. Yes, we finally came up with a name for the channel. Today I'll be walking you through a better tweak I discovered on AMD's GPU driver called Adrenaline. But before we start, I want to let you know that I've already updated the driver to its current version which is Adrenaline 18.9.1. If you still haven't updated your driver, I've added a link in the description where you can download the installer. You can also update your driver by going to its updates tab and click check for updates and choose the latest. From the last video, one of my friends suggested that I should have added results and comparison to the GPU's performance with the setup and without touching anything. Well that was actually a good idea. Being a gamer myself, we as gamers do find a lot of videos out there on how to improve gameplay, yet we rarely see any proof or at least proper results after the video shows a few twists of knobs here and there. So in this video I will be providing an in-depth comparison on how much the performance really improves based on the FPS that the graphics card gives us. From the last driver setup video tagged on the screen, I noted that settings and tweaks are not always final. So as the weeks passed while playing and testing, I tried to tinker around with the driver and stumbled upon a few tweaks that worked well for the ARC's 564GB. Let's get started. Let's start by opening AMD's Radeon settings. Check if our driver is updated. Move on to gaming. Select global settings. From here, I'll reset the whole thing so you could follow. Click on anti-aliasing mode and select override application settings for the level 2x method to multi-sampling morphological filtering on select anisotropic filtering mode and click on override again level to 2x texture filtering quality set to performance wait for vertical refresh should always be off Triple buffering off. Shader cache optimized. Override application settings for tessellation mode. For this video, we will be doing benchmarks on a few levels of tessellation mode and see which works better. I started off with 64x. But for a quick summary, tessellation adds more depth to textures in game. More polygons mean more details which means more to compute for your GPU. Moving on, leave what's left to default. So now I'm gonna show the results of the benchmarks. I've tested the game Witch Hunt with in-game settings to a standard default of 1080p on mid. Benchmarks were done with the old setup from the last video, tessellation set to 64, 32, 2, and with tessellation off. And here are the results. All tested within a time frame of 900,000 milliseconds or 15 minutes. For tessellation at 64, we had a minimum of 24 frames, maximum of 59, and an average of 37.9 or 38 FPS. At 32, Minimum of 21, maximum of 59, and an average of 38.1. With tessellation set to 2, we got a minimum of 22, a max of 60, and an average of 39.17. Weirdly enough, with tessellation off, the minimum was 21, max was 62, with an average of 37.18 FPS. So which one is better? From what I experienced, going low on tessellation degrades the quality of textures in the game. I didn't find tessellation 2 and tessellation off visually appealing anymore. On 64, you do get a lot of textures but then you experience quite a lot of stutters due to the amount of polygons being processed and filled in by the GPU. I would have to say that setting tessellation to 32 would be the best choice rather than 64. But half the amount of things that the GPU has to fill in, the game didn't stutter as much as it did in 64. 
and even though the increase in frames just went up by 0.2, visually it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. Right off the bat, setting tessellation levels in your driver to 32 is a sure win in terms of balancing performance and visual appeal. Well, there you have it. I hope that was able to help you improve your gameplay somehow. If it did, please do hit the like button and subscribe. If it didn't, let me know down on the comments and we'll try to figure out what else we could do to improve your gameplay. If you have a better way to set up the driver to optimize performance, leave that at the comments as well so other people could try it out too. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.